since 2013 when I started making videos on my main channel to now, cameras are out of control. Like this GoPro Hero 9 that I'm using right now with the media mod and the fact that I'm able to get this kind of quality and this kind of like footage and the audio that I'm going to get out of this, even though it's pretty noisy, but I'm going to process the audio on Final Cut Pro. It's insane to me. Like really guys, 2013, you couldn't do some of the stuff that you do now, right? So I'm going to tell you about the Instant 360 because some of you guys want to kind of do the 360 footage as well. I've been learning the hard way. I've been trying to become better and, and camera has never been something that I have utilized in the past, but this camera is fantastic and it gives you great footage. So let's check it out. Let me show you my 2009 Road Glide just because I'm here and it's always fun to look at the bike. Here it is, just looking sexy like always. I really, really enjoy this bike, really, really do. Here's the massive front and again, it's pretty dirty, like it is dirty, but I don't care. It's not supposed to be pretty. This one is to ride and to enjoy myself and have fun. And I'll tell you what, I'm loving it. The throttle is working really good. I know I have some issues with that, and you guys know, but the throttle is working great. And you know what? This thing right here, guys, by the way, I put a video with the way that I play my music. I got like a little Bluetooth that allows me to play my music through my phone. You see my phone there. I got everything that I need. I'm really, really enjoying this motorcycle. But going back to the 360, I'm gonna tell you, this camera is great. Now, the point here is not gonna be to cover the specs and things like that. I'm not a spec kind of guy. So the point here is just to show you some footage. You guys saw the footage. I know that it records at an amazing quality and kind of give you the idea of a personal that is using the camera so here it is and like i say i bought the motorcycle kit i highly recommend you guys to do that because it comes with everything like legitimate everything was in the box i didn't have to buy anything else i did buy like a little tripod later on but it did came with a stick and all that so the motorcycle setup is to me one of the best one this clamp i've been using this clamp for a really long time it's steady stays in there really really nice and i want you to see that guys that's a really clean set up right it doesn't really add up too much it doesn't really bring anything else into the picture it's very very simple usually i have a cap that i protect the lens and i carry this like this like very very simple right so again the clamp here's the camera so what's happening here is that you have a camera here and then you have a camera there so right in the middle there is a blind spot so the system actually put them together, right? The sixth thing actually stitching, they call stitch, stitch that together. But again, having that blind spot in the middle, that's why you could have a stick and you're holding the stick and it looks like the camera is like floating. It looks like the camera is following you because you cannot see the stick because once again, the stick is in the blind spot. There is ways that you could connect the microphone and I have connected a microphone here and it also stay on the blind spot. But then again, you know, I primarily get this just to go writing and all that. So why is this so important for a motor vlogger if you're a motor vlogger out there? Well, a lot of times we go out there and we're trying to record footage. It could be dangerous. You know, you see guys getting the camera and doing weird stuff. And again, it could be very, very dangerous. You could cause, cause an accident. You have to let your, your hands out of the bars and things like that. With this thing right here, you don't have to do anything, guys. You turn it on and obviously later on in post, you pick the frame that you want to show. Now, if I had to say something that I'm going to criticize is the fact that it takes time. It takes a pretty good amount of uh, time to be able to, you know, process the footage, to be able to 
out of the footage and all that because you're going to have to go through your right and you're going to have to pick your frame. Essentially, you could be like, all right, I want a frame here in the front. Now I want to frame that over there. Now I want to frame right here on the left. You could do that. So again, you have to manually go into the footage uh, and pick that. Now, the good thing about it is that Instant360 give you everything that you need. I know the app has a lot of great things. I have never utilized the app, so I can't really, you know, edit in the app. I have used it, but now you edit any videos in the app. And I have now messed with that too much, but I have done it in the computer. That's usually where I edit my footage. And I'm gonna tell you, it's really, really easy. Again, time consuming, gonna take your time. If you are motor vlogging and you're making videos really fast, this is gonna slow you down a little bit. But again, I believe that the quality that it gives you, it is just fantastic. So again, you see some of the qualities of this camera right here. And again, you have seen it here on the channel many, many times. Again, depends where you have it too. You could have different looks. Like for example, here you could, you know, front, uh, back as well to me if i put in the crush bars then you could see the entire bike i done this one back here in my roll king where the camera is like to my left or my shoulders and i love that i've seen some guys put in it right here and then you have like a overflow kind of style of a of a drone or something following you so again you could be really really creative you could put in the bars down there and i done this in the past where i record my 21 inch and my row king and i wanted to show you that footage so you could be really really creative again it's going to take your time to edit all that and one thing that i will tell you is that it's gray in daylight it's hot as hell right now it's pretty hot right now but at night time it's really not that good so this camera I know somebody's gonna be like, can it be my only camera? Well, it could be if you're a motor vlogger. You could put it here in the bars and you could have an audio recorder and then record all the footage in your audio recorder and then sync it on post. You could do that and it could be potentially uh, a good camera for that. But again, you know, this camera is a very specific situation, you know, like recording your rise, you know, maybe if you go into a really cool place where you want to show really cool footage. I mean, it's a very detailed camera for very specific situations, in my opinion. So great camera, quality is good. A nine time is not that good. Just put that out there. The footage is not great in dark situation. Editing may take you a little bit, but it's very easy. You can learn really quick. There's a ton of tutorials here on YouTube. And again, it's just gonna take you, you know, just a little bit. A couple times you do it, you'll be just fine. And again, if you buy the motorcycle kit, you're gonna have the whole thing. Obviously, I'm gonna put links down there. There are gonna be affiliate links if you wanna support the channel. But again, truly, I wanna use this camera all the time. Sometimes I don't, because like I say, it does take a little bit to edit. But I'm telling you, this camera is fantastic. Another thing that I wanna mention, if you are into Instagram, or TikTok or something like that, and you need to have a specific frames uh, as you're riding, that camera could do it too. You know, for YouTube, I believe it's 16 by nine or nine by 16, I don't know, one of those. Uh, TikTok is different, follow me on TikTok, I put it right here. But again, you could easily do videos for TikTok. The same video could be processed for YouTube, but then you could set up different sizes for other platforms. So again, Instant 360 X2 right there. Really love that thing. Let me know what you think, put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.